Hey guys, this is The Keep, representing Luxac, Luxac.com, here today with co-founder Chris. How's it going, guys? Right now we have eight of the Mega Tins right now. These just came out today. There's a lot of cards people are hunting down because this actually contains the popular cards out of the last four sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! Changing just how Konami brought them out. So Okay, now I'm not too familiar with the Yu-Gi-Oh! game myself since I'm more the Vanguard Buddy Fight person, but you're telling me that for the last few boxes, these ones will have some of the best cards available in this collection. Yep. So it's kind of a... Uh, it's, it's kind of like, I guess, a best of collection kind of thing. Is there Roughly. any new cards? No new cards. They're all reprints of the older ones, but in the rarity they came out. Before, Konami would release, like, let's say, a big card, but they would make it a regular secret or an ultra, and that's how it would be. This set releases the rarity of the cards the way they appeared in the boxes. Great, great. And this time, we, uh, this time around, we have eight boxes that we're going to be showcasing. Um, what are the characters on the front here? This is... Uh, this is, okay, sorry, the Fire Fist, this is the Fire Fist set, and this is the Bujin set. Roughly, those are two of the popular sets that came out beforehand, mm -hmm. so that's what these represent. Each one has three cards inside, which is a Platinum Rare, which is a new type of rarity, which is going to be the promo card, and as well as two other cards. So let's go okay. ahead and open them up. So yeah, as everyone can see over here, these are completely sealed with the official Konami shrink wrap all over it, and what we're looking at over here is... Uh, Three 2014 Mega Tin Mega Packs, one Platinum Secret Rare Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger and King card, and two Super Rare cards, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Gorilla, and number 47 Nightmare Shark. So, so. We'll, look, we'll look at one really quick. I'm gonna open that up. So this is the Platinum Rare. That only exists for this that two cards. So shiny. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be like a combination of a secret and this platinum look, and then you'll also get two cards from the set, like Bujin Crane, which goes for the Bujin sets. Mm -hmm. So we, now we also get. There's nothing else. But three packs for each tin. Okay, so now guarantee that you're always going to get this one right here, the platinum rare. Can you imagine someone's deck just like full out on that? All platinum sets. Yeah. And are these are these set of three cards always going to be the same? Yeah. Okay, so we're only going to open it this one time. Like each tin has a different cover card. Okay. Yeah. You see you that detail that one, in there. And then we also have really nice this one. Everyone for the dragons, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty sick. The other two cards will be different, though, compared to this set. Okay, yeah, but the, for the rest of the tins, they're going to be the same, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have the Fire Fist Gorilla, and we have the number 47, Nightmare Shark. For nice. number collectors, they're going to be happy because they can collect easily collect their uh, number cards. So. Okay, so there we go. we got the three Mega Packs, right? You'll get one Secret, one Ultra, one Super, yeah, one Rare, and a thick bunch. Too. Yeah, Honestly. they have a lot of cards. Really big one. So we're going to go straight to Sinister Yoshido, Monarch, and Battling Spirits. Okay, cards, but nothing great. Okay, open up my first Mega Pack here. See what we get on here. Okay, Sonic Boom. Yeah, these are like super thick, dude. It's like yeah, because there's a bunch of like 12 commons. Sonic Boom, Dodo Buster, uh, what is it? Gorgonic Ghoul. Ghost Let me see what do I got. Ghost Trick Stein. It's a rare, uh, was it? Bujingi Crow. Bujingi Crow? Yeah. Oh, uh, 101. 101. This is really hard to pull. Really? This, car really? this card, I haven't seen many get pulled. First but, edition. <laughs> yeah, first edition is now stayed over here. So compared to the original one, it would be here in the left corner mm -hmm. and now in the bottom. This is a really hard card to pull that okay. I've seen. Okay. Oh, gold. There's Rooster for the Bujins. All right. I mean, All not right. for the Bujins, sorry, for the Fire Fist. And Mount Silvana, which is made for the Sylvan decks. Nice. Hey, yeah, a lot of people talk in Sylvan, Sylvan, Sylvan. I remember hearing about You know what they're called in Japan? Sylvan. Shinra. Shinra. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Very, I usually I just very Final Fantasy of you. That's what I say. I call it the Final Fantasy. <laughs> even though they're all plants. Okay. Well, maybe there's something we don't understand about Shinra just yet. But okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Fire. No more dodos. More turtles. Now, you can actually like greatest, create. Yeah. Are these like greatest hits cards here, or are they just like commons? A bit of everything in between. You could actually make a couple decks out of this mega packs. Oh, really? Honestly, okay. You can make a Bujin deck out of and the Fire Fist. There's the 107. Number 101? Oh, is it 107? Yeah. Oh, it's 107, okay. First Monarch, which is okay, and Fire Formation. You know, uh, not too bad. So far, the best card is the one you pulled. Okay, let's double check here. So, Super Defense, Robo Leo, Druids, King, Bujin Regalia, Sylvan, Ghost Trick Yeti. Number 64 is the rare. Then Mecha Phantom Beast, so Arrows Gwyn. 
It's okay it's for the Mega Day. Penguin yeah. thing. And Star Eater. That's a really great Star Eater. secret. Dude, that's a ton. <laughs> twelve. Yeah, it's like twelve stars. It's so many. It looks like a but bootleg. But it can't be destroyed by effects and everything. Oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. summoned. It's just really nasty. Okay, and then the Mar- Marinia? Priestess of yeah, this, It uh, works for any plant decks. Okay, so I'll just right. put those Here's there. Here's my yeah. last pack of the first ten when you're done. We're going to jump straight to... Vampire Sorcerer, World of Prophecy, and I'll, Mecha. I'll take care of all the fire fists. You do all, you do all those ones over there on that you side. You got it. This card used to be great, but not many people run it. Maybe one of each. Eh, but these are okay. So, yeah, outside of those three cards that we saw there, I don't even know if those are even original. These are all already released, right? I'm seeing the brothers, Everything so. is, yeah. Everything here, like I said, has been released. It's all best stuff. Okay. Vampire Dude. Oh, uh, Suzawano. Uh, Tsukiyomi, sorry. Tsukiyomi, Moon God. Oh, Downward Magician, which is good. Downward Magician. And Ghost Trick Ghoul. Clowny looking artwork. Uh, the nice thing about that Downward Magician, it works with like the Ghost Trick deck and smaller decks because you can actually special summon it by uh, overlaying it off a of level one or two, actually not level, rank one or two card. There we go. Team number two for me. Two for me as well. Again. Try to hit the good card. Come on. Mikazuchi, Point Point, and Ghost Lantern. Okay. Again with these Let's... stacks over here. And this is coming out of uh, Chris's personal collection as well. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I went ahead and opened these up. Just to let you know, Luxac.com, the, these tins right here are going to be part of the raffle. So if you sign up for Luxac.com in the, uh, for September, we'll be uh, choosing a winner for every 25 people who subscribe, a winner for two tins will <laughs> nice. be announced. So uh, I pulled you know, a get Felgrand, which is actually a great secret because it can actually negate tons of effects. All right, Phantom, what is that? Mecha Phantom Beast, Tether Wolf. So Ooh, then, Marshall Leaf. Marshall Leaf. Totem, Totem bird. bird. And number 105, Battle Boxer Star. So, all right. Drop those. Are you keeping the rare separate? Yeah. Okay. I, I just do it later on. Okay. All right. That, oh, I still got my I know, other packs. Yeah, right? We were sitting there. So there's three of these mega packs over here. I was like missing one. A little bit of a rush. Yeah. So, yeah. Gaga, gaga, ga, wind. All right. Ghost Trick, uh, Neko Musume. Princess, we can regalia, Sylvan, uh, like a wheel of prophecy. Oh, Number one, one, another one, one, one. Oh man, okay, so I've seen uh, cases where they didn't even pull one. So you now you got two. two. So you you you've definitely There's done another it. Mega Monarch. And Mega Monarch and, and another Ghost, Ghost Trick. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's see. I'm telling you, man, these ones are Cockle Doodle Doo. <laughs> yes, it's called Cockle Doodle Doo. Oh yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Shared Ride and Skill Prisoner. Alright. Love the zombie effect going on over there. I like that. Okay, so Gravekeeper's Ambusher. That's a new one for me, finally. Yuki Ona. Everybody's about that Ona. Ghost Trick Spectre. Battle Boxer. Glass Jaw. It's not the coolest cool. name for a boxer, yeah. Alright. Mera, okay. Mech that we had this one already. Yay! Draco Sack! Draco Sack. Ah, oh, yeah. I remember people pulling that one just getting all crazy. Uh, yeah, I don't, not a big fan of the artwork. It, but... It's not used so much right now. Mm hmm. It's still a really nice card to have in your side and your extra deck, mm-hmm. since it has two effects that are very useful. One being you can summon two tokens, and as long as the tokens are on the field, it can't be destroyed by battle mm-hmm. or card effects. And the other one is you contribute any Phantom Beast to pop a card on the field, so you can pop the tokens, or worst case scenario, you can pop itself. Mm, interesting. Okay, so there we go. So Getting now, happy. Yeah. and the most generic name you can have for this Vampire Hunter. <laughs> So now the big one we're missing is Excite Knight, which came out in like this, not too long ago, and it's a level four, very searched in this set. It's actually probably the most expensive in this set too. What is this one called? I'm sorry. Excite Knight. Excite Knight. Yes. Okay. Well, hopefully we see it. But we've got all the all the bigger cards so far, right? Yeah. So we'll see what's up. You know what's funny? I'm pretty much pulling all the Mega Monarchs today. <laughs> Two more of these tins, we'll make it happen. There we go again with our sets. Very, very nice. Uh, let's see what we get now. Rank up Astral Force, Nether Rooster, and Cherub Me. Alright. And again, again, I'm Luck Sack, $20 a month. You know, you do that, $20 a month. You get four packs Yu-Gi-Oh, which is normally what, 16 bucks value. Mm-hmm. Then you get, and we're also gonna be putting in um, a deck box. 
uh, two packs Sweet. of sleeves for this uh, for that size, and also a card box. That's sixteen bucks. Yeah, sixteen bucks. Sixteen bucks. So if you sign up for September's at sixteen dollars, uh, and also. Again, for the for uh, the first 25, we'll be go we'll go ahead and we'll be giving out uh, two tins. And for every 25 people who sign up after that, we'll get, we'll do another ra on live live raffle for two more tins. So Not each bad. time we get 25, so you're guaranteed more people to get it if the more people that sign up. So and it'll always be the newest set too. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're gonna go ahead and make this. See what else we get here? All right, let's just go straight to the big guys here. Oh, this is a Bujigi Peacock number 105. Saw that one, I think. Another rooster. Another rooster. And, and Yoko. Or, Yoko. Okay, so. I'll let you open one more since I'm ahead of you by one pack. Okay. Oh, yeah, you got all anxious, huh? You got the oh, yeah. tins. <laughs> Still waiting for that exciting night. All right. Get these scissors out of the way. They don't look good in the picture. Okay. All right, so. Am I going to be that lucky? Am I going to do it? Archfiend. There's the bis. A bis. Abyss Balin, Balin. Yeah, it's a mermail. Uh, Malayal of the trees, trees and, and another ghost ghost lantern. Okay, We're gonna so. see a lot of doubles and triples since secrets are pretty interesting to pull. Let's see what we get here. Another rank up, and torrential reborn, and a quillin. Surprise! I have not pulled a Bujin Yamato yet. Okay. So we'll go straight to the big guys here. Will Prophecy, Tukiyomi, Tukiyomi again, Pinpoint Pinpoint guard, guard, and, and Sylvan Blade, Blade Defender. Defender. Now we did a box opening where there was a the brother like Noble Knights. Are they are they in this series? No, Noble Knights aren't in this series because they are getting a reprint set by itself. That's all going to be nothing but Noble Knights. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that makes a pretty big difference. It's about my only exposure, really. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have any questions about the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you see in here, drop us a comment down below. Chris is going to be taking care of most of that as he's been in the game for, what, a decade now? On and off. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what we get here. Okay. Ward. I've seen that name a number of times. There's so. Mass Chameleon. Chameleon. Another okay. Felgrand, I'm happy. Felgrand and Paolo. Paolo. Okay. All right, my turn. We start off with... I'll say Wolf Barf is another good card, and Evil Swarm Kirkion. So we haven't pulled these two yet. This goes really well with the uh, Fire Fist deck, because mm -hmm. it can re uh, bring back cards. It recycles cards in the graveyard. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see what we got over here on this side. Let's some newer stuff. There are Omega. Nice. And Celiar. Another and Mega Monarch. Monarch. And the Battling Boxers. Spirits. But, yeah, Boxing Spirits, right? Yeah. Okay. Stack of just shiny man. I know. It's ridiculous. Let's see. Marshall Leaf, Nether Downard, and Medolce Knight. So it's the first Medolce I've seen. Okay, this is my last pack, man. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Blue Sirius. Uh, yeah. Pinpoint, Pinpoint Guard and, and Blade, Blade Defender. Defender. Oh, did not get mine. Good luck to you on your last pack. Hopefully yeah. you get it. Let's see. We've got another 101, wow, three, so three out of eight, pa eight, Mistake, and Gyoko. I'm sure you could trade at least one or two of those 101s if you needed to for what you're looking for, right? Or yeah, I, I can, I, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so. Price wise, um, yeah, and 101 is just, I've, like I said, I've seen guys with four cases, uh, I Pokemon, open four cases and pull no 101s. But oh, he geez. did pull. Four cases? Four cases, meaning he went through 48 tins. No, oh, wait, sorry. Four K, yeah, 48 tins. And so that times three, he went through like 100 plus packs oh, and pulled no 101s. Because the 101s came out all over here. I know. So uh, let me just go ahead and show everybody all this shiny so they can. What is that Phoenix doing there? I think those are just the rares. But let me go ahead and just group these together. Just give everyone the view here, okay? So. So this is everything that we pulled out of what uh, eight, eight, eight boxes, eight right? Eight tins. So eight tins. So that means we went through twenty-four packs. Jeez, man. And you might want to just set this point on, or set the part of this video on on kind of just a slow motion kind of thing if you really wanted to get a closer look at any of these. While playing the Yu-Gi-Oh theme in the background. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yo, move. So this is what it's all about, just finding these cards and making it happen. And yeah, get your hands on a couple of these tins. Sign up for Luxac today.
that's what we're about. Check out our website, LuxAct.com. Get on that newsletter so you get up to Those date. Comments, like, what the comments doing here? Okay, okay. <laughs> but now, okay, so what, in this series, what are the decks that you normally are very excited about and that are very popular right now? Right now, the most popular decks that uh, just got released, the new set just released two weeks ago, was Duelist Alliance. That caused uh, Shadals, which is a deck that uses a lot of um, flip effects to its advantage, as well as um, Fusion Summoning. Okay. So Fusion Summoning comes back. That has been doing really well in Japan. Um, something, Another one that just came out and did really well at the ARG tournament like a weekend ago was Satellar Knights, which are like a combination of Elemental Heroes and um, Constellars, which roughly they swarm really quickly. They have cards that like say when um, you summon it, grab any Constellar, uh, Satellar Knight from your deck. Then you have another one which does uh, uh, summon any Satellar Knight from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. And then you can activate all their effects regardless because as long as they're summoned either way, they get their effects. So you can actually swarm pretty quickly. So the deck itself can be... Now, are, those, uh, are any of these cards relevant to those kind of builds right now? Yes and no. 101, like level 4s and everything are very popular. Hence why Excite and Night 101 are very, very popular. Um, the Shadals don't really use a lot of XYZ. It's mostly fusion summoning. So if they do, it's level 3s for the most part. So nothing in this set will really help. It just really depends on your playstyle. I, I can imagine Shadal using three and fours, but since mo main amount of the cards are level threes, not mm -hmm. really. Okay. <laughs> but I feel pretty happy. The three one oh one ones is pretty great. So is the uh, Draco sack. Okay. <laughs> that also means that there's probably an exciting night in the last four ten. So. There's a chance somebody might be able to pull it out of the two tins they win. All right, yeah. So, thank you very much for joining us on this uh, tin opening over here. And, uh, yeah, for uh, if you have any questions, just leave them below in the comment section, and we'll get, get to you as soon as possible. And so, uh, this is The Keep from LuxSack.com signing off here with Chris. Your and... social media guy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, take care, guys. Thank you, and uh, we'll catch up in a bit.